title of this writing is Transfer or Transition. How does a person change? Do they transfer or do they transition from one way of life to another? They do both. And one way is more lasting than the other. Few people make instant changes. They're the rare exception, but are touted by the profiteers as the model for change. Instant change is the marketing slogan that attracts many soon-to-be disappointed consumers, customers, clients, and patients. Some transitional changes can appear as instant changes. What goes unnoticed is the incremental information they've packed away along the way. Until, one day, poof, they seemingly transfer to a new way in a snap. We've all been exposed to the ancient wisdom, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. What may not be apparent in that profound reminder is that the student had to be led by baby steps before he or she could make the big leap to new learning. An apt analogy would be, you have to learn addition and subtraction before algebra makes any sense. You transition to algebra. It may come as sad news to you, but you have to play chopsticks before transitioning to Chopin. Here's what I find. The biggest stumbling block to change is patience. As a culture, we've been conditioned to expect an ABC or 123 way of quickly doing things. We learn to poo-poo our patience. Here's a suggestion. If you need to cultivate patience, and you do, plant a garden. No amount of instant change from seed to seedling happens. Daily watering and patience is required. The lesson offered here is this. Make incremental your benchmark and your friend, and you're more likely to transition to the result you want in the end. You can chase instant change if you like, but that's as effective as riding to your destination on a stationary bike. If you truly want to transition from A to Z, find the patience to do it incrementally. All the best, John.